Notion Charts is here, but is it any good? Let's have a look at what's capable with Notion Charts. Now, one thing to mention, it is available to try for free, but it is unlimited in paid. Now, in my personal account, I do have paid. This is my tutorial account, so I don't have a paid account in here. So let's build a chart from scratch so you can see how it works and what we are able to customize. All right, the first thing we are going to do is forward slash data and click on table view. And I'll just create a new database and click on new table. So we can do absolutely whatever we want for this. We just want to see how is this actually going to work. But one thing I presume is going to be useful is having a number property in here. Then let's test out and having a select property just for something else. I'm going to do just some random expenses for the week. All right, I've added some random expenses. So we have coffee, rent, groceries, groceries, coffee, and shirt. So this will be drinks, for example, or takeaway, whatever we want to call it. Then rent, I guess it's just rent. Groceries is groceries, that's groceries. Then we have takeaway again, and the new shirt is clothes. So now I've added some select to it, and now the number, which will just be the cost. So let's add in 500 for rent, 100 for groceries, another 100 for groceries, another 10, and then let's say a $70 shirt. All right, here is the database that we'll be working with. And what I'll do here is right click on the table and say this one will be the chart. So if you don't know in Notion, you can see the same piece of information multiple times in different tabs, and you can filter and use sorts and use groups in these tabs but the information stays the same. You're just seeing the data differently. So what I'll do here is click on the three dots and click on layout. And now this layout that we want to see is a chart. So we could be seeing this as a board view, a gallery, a calendar, yada, yada. So now we are going to click on chart. Sorry to interrupt, depending on when you're seeing this, I have a Notion course that's coming out or it's already out. It's all about how to use Notion for productivity. If you like using Notion to be genuinely more productive, then click the link in the description. All right, so here we have the info. Now, obviously we're going to click on edit chart. I think Notion have done an awesome job here. So we could see the chart in a vertical bar, we can see it as a horizontal, we can see it as a line graph, and we can see it as a donut as well. Realistically, I think I'll be using donuts and vertical bars the most. By the way, if you have any ideas on templates you want to make in Notion using charts, then drop a comment below because I want to make more free templates and I want to utilize the chart feature. Now in here, we could change the X axis. So X is this one and we could say, what do we want to show? So right now we're seeing this as the select, but we can change it to the name if we want. So then we're seeing rent, new shirt, groceries, groceries. And that's because that is the name here. So this here. So we're going to see groceries twice. Hence, we have this select property. So this is really important to think about when you are designing your chart. You want to ensure that you're going to view the information in the most useful way possible to you. You can also change the sorting here. If you haven't used it before in normal tables, we can use sorts as well. And it's a really powerful feature and I use it a lot in my premium template. We can also do omit zero value. So you're going to see this one gets removed. This just means that if one of these is zero, then it's not going to show up, which is quite a useful thing. Then on the Y axis, which is this one, Y to the sky, we can see what we want to show. So right now we are showing the count. So how many of them, but it makes more sense in this one to show the cost and we want to see the sum. I think that would make the most amount of sense. So now I can see this week I've spent 70 on clothes, I've spent 200 on groceries and 500 on rent and 20 bucks on takeaway. So it is showing me in this view. This is really useful for me to see. And obviously I can see it in a bunch of different things. I can say, what's the average that I spend on coffee every single week? What's the minimum amount that I can spend? And all of this other features. Now, one thing to bear in mind, if you are a free user, let's say I duplicate this chart, it's going to come up with this. Your workspace has already used its one free chart. I love having paid Notion and I use it truly every single day and it's really, really useful. There's a bunch of features that I just couldn't live without. And if you're looking to use charts in Notion, I recommend upgrading. It's not a huge cost, especially if you were to consider using another program to make your charts. And then here we can change the style. So we can say the color, so let's just say teal. Then here under more style options, we can change the height. So right now it's medium, we could make it small. So this is really useful if you wanna make it compact and we can change the grid line. So right now we just have horizontal, but let's say that we want this vertical. We can change it like that. And we can also obviously say that we wanna see both. We could say if we want to see the access name or not. So right now we're not seeing either, but let's say that we want to see both. Now I can see the select property is down here and I can see the cost showing in sum is down here. And I presume if I want to change this select here, 
All I have to do is change this property name from select to type, for example. And now if I go back, yes, it says type. So everything is connected in here, which is really useful to see. And then the last feature that I wanted to talk about is the save chart as. This just is incredible. You can copy it as a PNG, you can save as a PNG, and you can even download as an SVG. And as you can see here, that is what it looks like. I think this small feature here actually puts it leagues ahead of Excel and other programs where people are making charts. If you have any ideas on what you want me to make in Notion using Notion charts, then let me know in the comments. Most likely, I won't be building elaborate templates using this charts feature only because the free accounts only have one chart, and that will just limit a lot of people. However, as a Notion Pro user, I think this is absolutely amazing. Thanks for watching. If you want to check out my premium template that I mentioned, it's called Headquarters. It's got over 1,500 users and a five-star rating. Click on this video here to check it out.